Question 113 of Leak Code Path Sum 2. Given the root of a binary tree and an integer target sum, return all root to leaf paths where the sum of the node values in the path equals target sum. Each path should be returned as a list of the node values, not node references. A root to leaf path is a path starting from the root and ending at any leaf node. A leaf is a node with no children. So here is one example. We have a binary tree and the paths that have been highlighted are the paths that equal the target sum. So 5, 4, 11 and 2 equal 22. 5, 8, 4 and 5 equal 22. And that is pushed into the output. So this is the output which we're going to be looking for. And remember, we need to be returning the node values, not the node references. So with this solution, we'll probably be using some form of DFS. So we will be using recursion. And with recursion, you need base cases and you need a recurrence relation. So a base case, just imagine this tree. If it was equal to null, what will we return? Well, we need to return an array of some sort. We need to return an array of some sort. So we could just say, if root is equal to null, return an empty array. So this will be our sanity check. So let's have a look at what we need to pass down the tree in order to work this out. Well, we need to keep track of the current total so we can see whether the path is equal to the target. So we can have current sum, which we can set at zero. And at each stage, we can add the node value to current sum and add up and check to see whether it's equal to target. But we also need an array containing each node value because that is what we're going to be returning. So if we have a current array variable, which is equal to an empty array to begin with, and at each level we push into the array the value of the node. So let's have a look how that would pan out. So at the first level, current sum would go to five and we'd have an array containing five. At four, current sum would equal nine we'd have an array containing five and nine. At 11, current sum would equal 20. And we'd have an array containing five, nine, and 11. Current sum at this node will be 27, and it'll be five, nine, 11, and seven. Now this is pointing to null in regards to its left child and its right child. So this is now a leaf node. Once we reach a leaf node, we can check to see whether sum we've got is equal to the target. It's greater than the target. So what do we do now? Well, we haven't found a valid solution. So we need to backtrack. So we need to pop off of current R. So we need to remove seven, go to this level, check if there is another valid child to look through. There is, we can check the right child. So we have a look at this right child. So at this stage, the current sum is going to be 22. The array is going to be five, four, 11, and two. This is pointing to null. So Two node is a leaf node. What do we do at this stage? We check to see whether it is equal to the target. 22 is equal to the target. So this is a valid solution. So now what we can do is we can push these values into a result array. And now we need to backtrack to check for other potential solutions. So we go back to this level check. There's nowhere else to look. So we backtrack again. We pop off of current R. We get to this level, we check if there's any other potential child we can look at. There isn't, so we backtrack, go to this level, there is a right child. So we go down this level, check at this point. At this point, the current sum is equal to 13, and we have five and eight. Go down the left child, current sum is equal to 26. We have five, eight, and 13. This is pointing to null, with both the right and left child. So this is a leaf node. 26 does not equal 22. So we backtrack, go to this level, 13 has been popped off at this point, so we've only got five and eight. We check if it's got a right child, in this case it does, so we check that side. So at this level, it's going to equal 17, so we've got five, eight, and four. Go down the left child, at this point, it's going to equal 22, five, eight, four, and five. This is a leaf node, so we check, 22 is equal to the target, we add this array into res. Now we can backtrack, so we pop off of current R, we go to this level, we check, the right side at this level it's going to equal 18 and current array is 5 8 4 and 1 18 does not equal 22 so we backtrack we backtrack we backtrack we get to this level we realize there's nowhere else to go so we exit that recursive function now all we need to do is return res time complexity for this solution is on squared in the worst case scenario 
we could have a complete binary tree here and there would be n over two leaves. And then for every leaf that we have, we'd have to perform n operations. Our space complexity is O of n because we are storing n values within current array. And just to note, the result array that we created to store the results is not included within the space complexity. So let's start by initializing res as an empty array. Let's create that recursive function. Let's call it DFS. We're going to pass in root, current sum, and current array. And we're going to call DFS, passing in root, passing in zero as our current sum, and then an empty array for the array that is going to store the current path. So if root is equal to null, return an empty array. So this is just a sanity check. Now we can add to the current sum, the current value of root. And we can also add to our array, the value of root. So we want to be returning a list of the node values, not node references. So here we state root.val. And then we check if it is a leaf node. So root.left is null and root.right is null. And we also need to check whether current sum, so the current sum of the current path we have, is equal to the target. If it is, then we're going to push into res our current array. And I've spread this out to make a copy because we are going to be manipulating the current array afterwards. Then we need to carry out the recursive call, so DFS down the left side and the right side. And then we need to backtrack. And the way we do this is we just pop off of the current R. And lastly, we return res. Okay, let's check to see if that's worked. Submit it. And there you have it.